Wouldn't it be nice to walk into your office with a laptop, sit down and pull out a 200 plus inch screen to work on that only you can see? It sounds like a pipe dream, but it's real. That's basically what these do, the Roken Max AR glasses. These are glasses that have dual 1080p, 120 hertz micro OLED screens in them that can project a huge screen in front of you. Big thanks to Roken for sending these out and working with me on this video. They are actually really, really cool and they have a ton of different use cases. I've been using them for the past few weeks now from everything from extending my MacBook screen and editing my YouTube videos to gaming in 120 Hertz with my Steam Deck. One of the main upsides to these glasses versus a more traditional VR or AR headset is that they're extremely small and light. These don't have any batteries built in. They completely rely on whatever device you plug them into for power. You just take the included USB-C cable, plug them into your phone, your laptop, your gaming console, whatever you wanna use them with. They only weigh 75 grams and they only feel slightly heavier than my regular regular pair of glasses that you know I used to see. I don't have the best vision, which normally is a problem with me for some uh, VR or AR headsets. I've actually had to buy prescription lenses in the past to get a proper experience. With these, however, I don't. These Roked Max actually have these diopters on either side that will counteract myopia or nearsightedness up to minus 6D. So everything on the screen is much less blurry. Now for me, I find that the very corners of the projected screen do get a little bit out of focus because of that small sweet spot with these glasses, but you can make some small adjustments to the fitment to actually help fix that. There's two different nose pieces included in the box. So if the one that comes with it isn't fitting right, you can always swap to the other one. I can't show you exactly what it looks like through the lenses because of that small sweet spot, but this artificial view of what I can see is pretty accurate. I get a nice big screen in front of me that I can either use mirrored or my personal preferred setting extended. This gives me a second monitor to use for multiple multitasking and the screen is huge, making it perfect for watching video or reading text. The 1080p micro OLED screens in these glasses produce a very sharp image with perfect contrast. The field of view is 50 degrees, so it's not gonna fill your entire vision, but it's not meant to either. It's meant to augment your reality, not put you in a virtual space, hence the AR acronym. They do a lot for ergonomics too. With this current setup, I have to keep my head and back straight to see both the display from the glasses and the MacBook screen at the same time. When I wanna look at the MacBook display, I'll just move my eyes down to the screen without you know, moving my head. You can still easily see the world around you through both the tinted glasses and the space below them. The brightness of these displays are actually surprisingly good. Now the tinted lenses does help, but Roked claims that you'll get up to 600 nits of brightness. And here in my office studio with the bright light from my window, they're easily bright enough for daily use. But let's move on from that office scenario and say that you're on a plane and you wanna watch a movie, but the crappy headrest screens aren't doing it for you. That's actually the ideal use case for these glasses in my opinion. You just plug the glasses into your phone and boom huge display on the plane. For movies though, I'd recommend using the included shades to help block out your surroundings. It makes them look a little bit more like normal glasses too, which is nice, unless you really like the Neo from the Matrix look. The Roked Max even has built-in speakers on either side that actually sound pretty solid, so you don't have to wear headphones with them if you really don't want to. Although, I mean, if you're on a plane, you probably would, given that you want the extra noise cancellation that headphones bring. The right arm of these glasses has a volume rocker for turning up or turning down the speakers, as well as a secondary button that's used for two different things. Pressing the button once will turn up or down the display brightness so that you can change it on the fly, but pressing and holding that button will actually change the displays into a 3D mode that will allow you to watch native 3D movies, which is pretty neat stuff. For more fun with AR, Roket actually has an app available that allows you to use your phone to play a few AR games, as well as utilize their 3DOF mode. In that mode, the sensors built into the glasses will detect when you're moving your head around and attempt to lock the display in place. Now, personally, I think these glasses are better suited for gaming in other ways. Let me explain. By default, the Roket Max displays run at 60 hertz, but you can activate the 120 hertz mode by holding the volume up button for eight seconds. The displays will reboot and they'll be running at 120 hertz. When you're in that higher refresh rate mode, they're just as buttery smooth as my M1 MacBook Pro display or the display on the S21 Plus that I'm using to test these glasses. But the most fun stuff doesn't come until you're hooked up to something like a Steam Deck. This actually feels like the best possible way to use this console. Gone is the lame seven inch 720p screen of the Steam Deck that only runs at 60 hertz. Now you have the screen the size of a movie theater 
radiator that's running at 120 hertz. You don't have to hold up the Steam Deck to see it anymore either, so it's a much more relaxed way to play, especially if you're just lying in bed. The only real downside is that the Steam Deck really isn't powerful enough to play AAA titles at 60 FPS, let alone, you know, 120 FPS. So I actually play a lot of indie titles or games that just aren't hard to run instead. Castle Crashers, for instance, goes up to over 500 FPS on the Steam Deck, and it looks so buttery smooth in the Roken Max glasses. It's a lot of fun. The contrast is great, the displays are sharp, the sound is good. Couldn't ask for much more. Now let's talk about comfort for a sec. So like I said earlier, they only weigh 75 grams, so they aren't heavy at all. I do find that the little nose piece kind of digs in after an hour or two, so there's a little bit of fatigue there, but not a lot. What I was most surprised about was the fact that I wasn't getting much eye fatigue, and that's for two reasons. One, yes, those diopters do help out a lot, but two, these are TUV certified for eye comfort, which I believe is like a, a German certification. These glasses produce minimal blue light, so they're actually very comfortable to look at for a long period of time. The downside is that they tend to be a little bit more warm than most displays, a little bit maybe orange tinted, so I wouldn't use these for you know color critical work, but I think for everything else, you'll be very thankful for the reduction in blue light. As a pair of high refresh rate, screen mirroring or extending glasses, these things are pretty awesome. I'm gonna be carrying these with me every single time I travel. They're basically a huge external display that can fit in your pocket. If you wanna pick one up for yourself, I'll leave a link for you in the description down below. Rokit is actually hooking my audience up with a discount code so that you can get the best price on the launch of these things. Hope you liked the video, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.